What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Hasbro Pulse Exclusive Mighty Morphin Metallic Blue Ranger. And so here we have the Metallic Blue Ranger pose and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories. The Blue Ranger does come with two different head sculpts. We do get a helmeted head which looks really good. Then we get an unhelmeted Billy head, which looks really nice. I do like it. He comes with two pairs of hands. We do get a pair of fists. Then we get a pair of grip hands. He does come with his power lance, which does come in its two-piece configuration, as well as its single-piece configuration. He does come with a blade blaster, which does fit in his hand, or you can have it in his holster. He comes with an effect piece for his power lance, which looks really nice. And then, of course, he does come with a Zeo Crystal. Other than that, the Blue Ranger doesn't come with any other accessories, so with that out of the way, let's have a closer look at the Metallic Blue Ranger. So here we have a closer look at the Metallic Blue Ranger, and I like what Hasbro has done with this figure. Now, at first glances, it looks like it's the exact same figure that we got with the original Blue Ranger. The helmets look very similar, but there are some key differences in them, specifically in the shape. You can see that the new helmet is a little bit uh, longer uh, in the profile view versus the original one, which it's very subtle, but you can see this one's jaw pokes out further and the back of its head is further. This one seems like it was really compacted. So it is good to see that Hasbro did modify the helmet it was one of those things that I wasn't sure they would, but yeah, it turns out that they didn't modify it from the front. It's very subtle, but the new helmet is a little bit more accurate, so they did change up the helmet on this figure, so I do like this new helmet sculpt. It's a little more accurate to the show, but besides the new head sculpt, it's pretty much the exact same figure that we got originally. This is the exact same mold that we got with the original Blue Ranger to the down to the power coin everything on it is the same the only difference is he's actually cast in this translucent pearlized blue plastic with glitter flakes throughout it and i'm not gonna lie i think so far next to the white ranger he's the next best one that we've had a look at the other two rangers were done in a very dark shade of pink and yellow blue ranger here is done in just the right shade of blue it looks really nice it's hard to even see the metallic he just kind of looks translucent with glitter in it i would have liked to see a more translucent or more pearlized blue plastic used but yeah overall i do like it he's gonna carry over the same issues that all the rangers have where his uh, cuffs are painted and the hands are molded in the pearlized plastic so overall I still like the way it came out I like the paint the paintwork is very clean on this figure with the exception of this one part on his neck I can't find any other major paint issues I think if I was to really nitpick this I would find them but yeah really nice looking blue ranger figure really glad that Hasbro was able to give us the metallic rangers uh, they did make them different from Bandai, so yeah, there are some differences in the two, but overall, really good job by Hasbro. They updated the helmet, which is something I didn't even know the Blue Ranger needed an update on, but yeah, we do have a new helmet, so good job, Hasbro. With that being said, guys, let's actually get the Blue Ranger compared to other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have the metallic Blue Ranger pose next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have the metallic Blue Ranger posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have the metallic Blue Ranger posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. So for one final comparison, here we do have the Hasbro metallic Blue Ranger posed next to the original Lightning Collection Blue Ranger and the Bandai Legacy metallic Blue Ranger. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at Blue Ranger's articulation now. He does have a ball joint and a hinge at the neck, which does let him look up. Because he has a new helmet, he can actually look up even better than the original one and look down better than the original one, so I do like that. He can turn left and right at the head, as well as get some slight head tilt. He does have a butterfly joint on his shoulders, which do allow them to go back and forward. We do have a hinge here at the shoulder, which goes past nine or past horizontal. I do like that. Swivels all the way around. 
we do have a bicep swivel, which works perfectly fine. Double bend here at the elbow going past 90 degrees. Then we have a swivel and hinge here at the wrist. So yeah, do like that. Just be careful because the hinge is kind of stiff. You might have to heat that up. He does have a ball joint in the torso, which does pivot side to side, swivels left and right. He has a reverse ab joint, which does let us crunch back, crunch forward. Then we do have his hips that kick forward to about right there. They kick back out to the side. Could be better. I really do think the White Ranger has the best range for the male figures. He does have a thigh swivel here, a high double bend at the knee going to about there. Then we do have a swivel here at the boot. We have a hinge in the ankle which goes forward slightly, goes back, forward facing pin for rocker ankle. So overall, the metallic Blue Ranger here looks really good. I do like the way he came out. So with that out of the way guys, let's actually get him posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the Lightning Collection Metallic Blue Ranger pose for my final thoughts and overall really really happy with this figure. Now it's not going to replace my Blue Ranger on my shelf but he is going to go in a display with all the other Metallic Power Rangers. I do like the fact that Hasbro was able to make this figure look very impressive. The glittery plastic that they use with him actually looks good. And like I said next to the White Ranger I think he's number two on my list at least from what we've had a look at Yellow Ranger being the obvious last last place then pink ranger blue ranger definitely comes up a solid number two so overall i like the aesthetics of this figure and i love the fact that hasbro actually went back and modified the helmet it's good to see that hasbro is listening to the fans and reworking the helmet so it fits the head a little bit better if only it sat a little bit higher on the head that way we would have a neck on our figure it's just a really nice show of gratitude that Hasbro listened to us finally. I do like the fact that on all the Metallic Rangers they look good when they're in a team separately and eh, not so much and again this isn't for everybody I can see a lot of people passing on this figure but thankfully it is an exclusive to Hasbro Pulse so unless you really want to pick up the Metallic Rangers and were a fan of the episode where they use their metallic powers it's really nice to go pick those figures up but if you're just a casual fan who just wants a Blue Ranger I'm pretty sure they're gonna reissue the Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger down the line so no need to pick this figure up although I do like the head sculpts on him it's still a solid figure for hardcore Power Rangers fans. He is going to run you about $24 on Hasbro Pulse. Now this was before their price hike of everything. $24 for an exclusive figure is pretty fair, especially because the only way you can get it is through Hasbro Pulse. So yeah, if you want them, definitely pick them up. I do think the new helmet is a nice touch, but they're going to re-release this figure with a new helmet down the line. So don't just pick this figure up for the helmet. With that being said guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Power Ranger videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified anytime I upload a video. Until next time guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.